Thank you, sir. I request the chairman, Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, to give welcome address. Lord, the Honorable Chief Justice, other Honorable Judges of the Honorable High Court, former Judges of the Madras High Court, Honorable Mr. Justice Sundar Mohan, Honorable Mr. Justice Kabali Kumaresh Babu, Judges of the Madras High Court, and their family members, Mr. Sanmug Sundaram, Advocate General, Mr. Sankar Narayanan, Additional Solicitor General, all Additional Advocate Generals, Asan Mahmud Jinnam, Public Prosecutor, Mr. Muthu Kumar, Government Pleader, Mr. Bala Murugan, Public Prosecutor, Puducherry, all other law officers of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, Mr. S. Prabhakaran, Senior Advocate, Vice Chairman, Bar Council of India, Mr. Karthi Gayan, Vice Chairman, Bar Council, Mr. Mohan Krishnan, Co-Chairman, the Bar Council, the President, Madras Bar Association, Associations, Mr. Kamal Nadan, the Madras Bar Associations, Mr. Changutuvan, Law Associations, Mrs. Louis Alramis, Women Lawyers Associations, other President Secretaries and Office Bearer of the Hall, other associations, all other senior advocates, other dignitaries, uh, members of the legal fraternity, press and media, good morning to mm -hmm. all. As the Chairman, Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, it is, I take this opportunity with the great pleasure to welcome Honorable Mr. Justice Sundar Mohan, Honorable Mr. Justice Kabali Kumarish Babu, who have taken oath as judges of this prestigious Madras High Court. The Honorable Judge Mr. Sundar Mohan was born on Chennai, and his father, Mr. S. Sundar, is also a renowned senior advocate. The Honorable Judge completed the law degree, Dr. Ambedkar Law College, and enrolled as an advocate in the Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry on 9th day of October 1991. After enrollment, the Honorable Judge practiced under several eminent senior advocates such as Mr. Habibullah Basha, Elias, Mr. N. Nadrajan, and finally joined in the office of Mr. Sanmug Sundaram, who is the present Advocate General, and gained vast knowledge, especially in criminal laws. The Honorable Judge Court has appreciated the Honorable Judge in several occasions, particularly in the HMP cases. He was appointed as an Advocate Commissioner and observed that, I quote, he has in a manner most becoming a and laudable, gone about the Commission interest to him and proved it without expecting any fees whatsoever. And quote. The Honorable Judge is expertise in all fields of law, particularly in criminal side, and delivered lectures on topic mainly dealt with the law or crimes. And now he has been elevated Judge of the Chartered High Court. The active practice of the Honorable Judge will help for the effective and the quick disposal of the cases in this justice delivery system. The Honorable Judge, Mr. K. Kabali Kumareshu Babu, after completing your law degree in a Dr. Ambedkar Government Law College, enrolled as an advocate in the Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry on 13th day of October 1993. The Honorable Judge was a junior of Mr. R. Krishnamurthy, former Advocate General, and has established practice mainly in jurisdiction, original site, and arbitration cases, and also served as a government advocate and as an additional Advocate General. Though the Honorable Judge is a first generation advocate, he has reached this highest level through his odd work and a dedicated law practice, which is commendable. The rich experience of the Honorable Judge in the bar nearly two decades will definitely reflect the judicial dispensation and prove an asset to the judiciary. The judiciary has an important role in safeguarding the protecting the Constitution and its values. And one of the major functions of the judiciary is to interpret and uh, apply law for ensuring justice to the litigant public. Uh, Charles Ivan Hughes, the former Chief Justice of the United States of America, has quoted that, I quote, we are under the Constitution, but Constitution is what the judges say it is. And the judiciary is the safeguard of our property and our liberty. And our property under the Constitution, I unquote. The wisdom and the active practice of the Honorable Judges will be great support for discharging their duties, for upholding the Constitution values and the safeguard the rights of the litigant public enshrined under the Constitution. Honorable Mr. Justice Mustafa Fasal Ali, former judge of the Madras Supreme, High Court, Supreme Court of India, in a judgment passed the Union of India versus Gopal Chandra Misra, reported in 1978 to SEC, has quoted that, I quote, the High Court judges are the repository of the confidence of the people and the protector of the right and the liberty of the subjects. Having regard, therefore, the onerous duties of the 
sacrosanct function which a judge of the high court has to discharge, he has to act or behave in a manner which enhances the confidence of the people in the judiciary. I unquote. As the honorable judges are from the bar, we are all sure they will better realize the difficulty faced by the members of the bar as well as the litigant public and will enhance the confidence of the people over the judiciary by delivering the landmark judgments. At the junctures, I would like to thank the Collegium Judges of the Honorable Supreme Court of India and Honorable Madras High Court for appointing the Honorable Judges who are going to fulfill their pivotal role in administration of justice along with the array of judges of this prestigious Chartered High Court. As the Chairman Bar Council, I assure the fullest cooperation of the Bar and extend full support to perform the function of effectively in order to ensure speedy justice. On behalf of the Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, on behalf of the entire legal fraternity, I wholeheartedly welcome, wish the newly appointed honorable judges for all success in that tenure. Thank you.